Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just came home from a lovely dinner with myself. I just honestly went to a Boston pizza and ordered some pasta and some apple cider, which I love. I love apple cider. And I just got home. So this is one of my things this year. I want to take myself on more dates, be more comfortable, like having meals alone. Because that's one thing that I really could not get myself to overcome in the previous years. I could never go to movies alone. I could never have a drink at the bar alone. I could never never have dinner alone and whenever I attempt to do that I always feel so uncomfortable I honestly went to Boston Pizza because it's a sports bar and so there's like a lot of TVs and so I kind of don't feel awkward being by myself because I can like watch the TV if you know what I mean well anyway this video is gonna be my nighttime routine that helps me to feel comfortable and feel rested and feel confident the next day I started this nighttime routine because I wanted to develop a skincare routine a pamper routine something that will make me feel rested and fulfilled and will really help me sleep better at night when you take care of yourself you just have a different outlook on life you just feel more refreshed you feel more energized the next day I feel like I'm becoming a more high value woman as I take care of myself and pamper myself. I tried this before but I was never consistent but now I found a system that works for me that I thoroughly enjoy and so every single night before I go to bed I actually look forward to locking myself in the bathroom for like 30 minutes maybe and pampering myself and doing my nighttime skincare routine. So if you're interested in seeing this then please keep on watching. I removed my glasses and then I removed my rings and oh I almost forgot and I start with removing my makeup. Okay, first things first, I brush my teeth. I like to brush my teeth first because the toothpaste residue that will be left around your mouth will stay there if you brush your teeth after you wash your face. So I like to use the Sensodyne Whitening Toothpaste just because Sensodyne is known for sensitive teeth. But to be honest, you can just use your favorite toothpaste. I like to use the Crest White Glamorous White Mouthwash. This one does not have alcohol. It's alcohol-free. I suggest looking for something that's alcohol-free. I don't honestly know if this works to whiten my teeth it's a mindset the next thing that I was very regular about but eventually I stopped doing it because I didn't really see the results that I liked and I kind of want to switch into something else this is the Crest White Emulsions Teeth Whitening Treatment after you brush your teeth you pat it dry and put this on your teeth and just let it sit there overnight I feel like my hair looks weird <laughs> oops now I normally leave this to the very last step after I wash my face because I like to keep my teeth open and let it dry but I just wanted to mention it because I was talking about brushing your teeth earlier. And I honestly don't know if this works. I do want to try the Crest strips instead. I feel like there's more reviews on that and I feel like that works more. Okay, now that the teeth is done, I remove my makeup and I use a oil cleanser. I used to use other kinds of cleansers like the Physicians Formula, Cream Balm, the Pond's Cold Cream. My favorite is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, but it's a little pricey for my liking. But for eye makeup, that is the best out there. For now, I'm using the Uriage cleansing oil. I like this to remove my makeup. I feel like it does really well when it comes to foundation, when it comes to any of my eyebrow products. It does a really good job of removing my eye makeup, but I do double cleanse. So whatever is not removed by the Uriage cleansing oil, it will be removed by my next step. And if it doesn't get removed by my next step, then I do have a toner that I like to use to ensure everything is gone. So let me just lather this into my face and then I'm gonna wash it off. I honestly really wanna try one of those Foreo machines. It's like a silicone brush that help you cleanse your face more so let me just wash this off and I'll be right back now I pat dry with a dry cloth I used to use cotton but then I realized how wasteful that was so my second cleanse is like the more cleanse cleanse part which actually interacts with your skin so I chose the La Roche-Posay Effaclar purifying foaming gel and I love the smell of this it does lather pretty well the smell of this makes me feel so relaxed and pampered and it makes me feel really good. I used to use the CeraVe SA cleanser which I really enjoyed. If you like something that's not fragranced, you would enjoy that as well. But then when I was finished with that, I really wanted to try something else and the La Roche-Posay was really calling to me. So I'm just gonna lather this with some water and then I'll wash it off and I'll be right back. So at this point, I am ready for my skincare ingredients. 
My sleeves are getting wet from washing my face. My skin isn't perfect, but it has been better ever since I got some breakouts from drinking collagen. It was a whole thing. I wanted to start drinking collagen for my skin, but unfortunately, there are some people that have bad reactions to collagen, and I was one of those people. And that was almost a month ago, so I still have some breakouts. That's how bad it was. But I feel like my skin has definitely improved since then. Okay, now for my most favorite part of my skincare routine. This is the Paula's Choice. 2% BHA liquid. I used to use the AHA by The Ordinary and the Pixi Glow Tonic. I love those, but when I switch to the BHA, my skin has changed. My skin knows when I don't use this, and that's how amazing it is. Now, I just take a cotton round. They say to put a couple drops, but honestly, I just pour it in. I really love this stuff, and I'm just going gently into my skin, making sure I lay that BHA liquid on every part of my skin as gently as I can. Sometimes I go up as well. I feel like that really helps it get into the pores. Paula's Choice has released a new exfoliator. I think it's mandelic acid or something and I do want to try that but I just got this bottle and this is the biggest bottle they have and I absolutely love it so I don't usually wear my jewelry when I do my skincare routine. It's just for the camera, you know, why not? I do have a lot of breakouts happening around the mouth area and I feel like that is either the remnants of the collagen that I've been drinking a few months ago or me kissing my cat. I kiss my cat all the time and that involves the lip area. Maybe I have to stop but how can you stop kissing your cat? I mean, how? I try to bring whatever is excess down to the neck area as well. I never used to do any neck skincare, but you know what? We should, especially after your 30s. You're gonna have to do that. Okay, next in my skincare routine is spot treatment. So I use Differin. I was prescribed this by my doctor. Now, I'm not used to breakouts anymore because ever since I finished Accutane, I didn't really have any problems with my pimples. But then again, I tried collagen and everything turned around. So I'm having to deal with pimples again. And it's not as bad as when I was younger, but I'm not used to having this many breakouts. It has improved, definitely. Now with different, the problem is dryness. When I was on Accutane, I had dry skin. It was a nice experience versus oily skin. And being on different, I'm getting even more dry skin, especially around the mouth area where I place it. And so I do extra steps to moisturize this area. So when I'm done with a different spot treatment, I let it sit and dry a little bit. And during this time, I like to put my eye cream. I like using the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. I also use the Olay one. I used the ROC one. Honestly, you can use any of them. I don't really see a huge difference. So I like to pat this. I just put like a pea size amount or half a pea amount and I just pat it underneath my eyes and I like to bring it over as well. In the morning, I don't use retinol and I use more of a hydrating eye cream just to keep that moisture in because I notice when I use retinol alone, it tends to make my under eye area a little bit dry drier than I would like. And so when I wear concealer, it doesn't sit right. Next, I go with a lash serum and I am very proud to say I have not missed a day except last night where I slept on the couch. <laughs> the one I have was given to me by my sister. This is the Clarins Lashes Serum Mascara. I really want to try the Indeed Labs Peptide Lash Serum and the Ordinary Lash Serum as well. This is really nice because it's almost like a mascara, but it's like a caramel color. And I just like to indulge my lashes in a fat coating of this lash serum. I feel like when I use it, I'm doing something good for my lashes. Next, I like to put it on my brows as well. I haven't really been doing this for so long, but I just like to keep my brows looking good even when I sleep. It's a little extra, but it's a nice extra. I feel good about it. Okay, now that the different gel has kind of dried, I like to put a serum. So this is the serum step. You can use any serum you like or that you enjoy, but right now I'm trying the vitamin C24 serum by Indeed Labs. I like vitamin C. I feel like I see a difference with my skin when I use vitamin C. And so I'm trying this. It gives me a very smooth feel on my skin. But I also really want to try their brightening drops. Hey, morning routine Sahar here. I'm also filming a morning routine right now and I realized I'm mixing BHA and vitamin C together. This lowers the pH of your skin and might cause some irritations. So personally, I have already built a tolerance to that and that's why my skin is not irritated. But just be mindful just be aware that that might happen. And if you want to watch my morning skincare routine, I'll be linking that up here. Bye!
You can also put niacinamide at this step or any kind of retinols even. I try not to use retinol right now because I'm using Differin, so I'm trying to avoid any irritation that might occur when I mix the two. After I'm done with my serum step, then I do the moisturizer step. I have so many moisturizers and a lot of them are in sample size. And of all of the samples, I honestly thoroughly enjoy the Laneige Water Bank line. This is the Water Bank Sleeping Mask and this is the Water Bank Cream. I have tried so many moisturizers moisturizers and these are the ones that make me feel like my skin is so smooth and hydrated. I wore this under makeup once or twice and my makeup did not crack as much as if I wore something else and so I really really thoroughly enjoy this. So I'm gonna put the sleeping mask first and I'm so sad because I'm almost out of this and I know it's very expensive so I'm just putting the water mask all over my face and then whatever I have left I just extend it down to my neck and then I let that dry. I do have a little it's not Dyson but it's like a Dyson dupe fan for my face that I like to use. I just think it's so cute. Now for added moisture, especially in the different area, I like to add another layer of moisturizer and this is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. This one is a lot thicker than the water sleeping mask and this just helps with a cracking on the skin where I put that different. So I'm just gonna concentrate it on this area of my face, especially around the mouth area and the chin. I noticed my skin likes it when I'm extra hydrated. I do have less breakouts now now. So this is almost the last step, but I have a retinol with me. This is 1% retinol and squalene by The Ordinary. I used to use this on my face, but my skin doesn't enjoy it as much as like creams. But now I do use it for my neck. So I just put a bunch of that in my hands. I give it a good mix and then I just pat it into my neck. Okay, so nearing the last step of my routine, I never skip this step, especially now that it's winter time. I like using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have tried so many sleeping masks, lip creams, lip balms, everything, and this is still by far my favorite. A close contender to my favorite is the Indeed Hyaluron Volumizing Lip Treatment. These two are absolutely the best lip treatments in the market. I know some people don't like the Laneige one, but maybe try the Indeed Labs one and you will be blown away. So I just like to put it everywhere, making sure my lips are moisturized to the extreme. And now my face is a glow ball. Yay, we have achieved glowing. This is the last step. I recently added this to my routine just because I noticed it makes me feel so calm and collected and ready to sleep. I thought it was excessive at first, but then when I started doing it, it just... It made sense to me. This is the Clarence Eau de Jardin treatment fragrance. They have four of these and this one is my favorite. This orangey amber one is my favorite. This is basically like lighting a candle or lighting some incense in your room but instead of doing that you light yourself up. So I just like doing a couple spritz like two, three and I'm done. This honestly just makes me feel so zen and it makes me sleep well at night. And there you have it. This is my nighttime skincare routine to get better sleep and feel more energized the next day. And it really helps me pamper myself. If you have your own nighttime skincare routine that helps you really feel good about yourself and have a nice night's sleep, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you like my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. I do appreciate your support and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!